Okay, so um, what was your question? What your question? Um, I was just wondering. I had spoken to one of my clients, and he mentioned that you went to his house, right? And um, he was bummed because you informed him that you couldn't do the irrigation system in his home. And I was just wondering why. Yeah, it wasn't because I couldn't do it. It was more that uh, it was just going to be more expensive. So uh, for this particular client, you know, a lot of times in newer homes, you see the water meters in the middle of the driveway under concrete, and then they go into the garage where they, you know, they supply the house. Um, the problem with that is you can't, you, you have to either shot cut, you know, a portion of the concrete and then find the, the, the main line in order to tap off there, run, run a backflow. Um, um, but a lot of times people have stamped concrete driveways. You know, and you can never match that. So uh, it's not that I couldn't do it, it's that it would be more expensive initially. Um, a lot of times what we do is we, we tap off the spigots as well. You know, we don't have to tap into the main line, we can tap off the spigots. These newer houses, they have uh, waterproof sp or uh, frostproof spigots that go into the house like, you know, a good six, six to eight inches. You know, so we can't tap into those like we used to. Because in the old days, um, on the house, you'd have a copper pipe coming out and then you'd have a water spigot where you connect your hose. We could easily tap into that copper, you know, solder, run a backflow, you know, um, and tap off of that. Um, so why with, don't they do that anymore? With your particular client, I mean, it's, for, the frost proof is better. It won't okay. freeze, it's, it's not gonna crack, it's not gonna, it's not gonna burst, uh, burst or it, it's just, it's a, it's a lot safer along with PEX pipe. That's why all these houses, they don't do copper anymore. They do PEX. You know, is the PEX, PEX is the red and the blue? Red, red and blue, because PEX can flex. But you there's know, been a lot of issues with that also. Well, I mean, I would I would think there'd be more issues with copper pipe. Okay. You know, because I'm just asking. That's just the older way. Okay. Um, but for this particular client, he had these frost-proof water, water spigots. They went into the house that much. In order for me to tap into that, I have to I have, I have to knock into, into his stucco, find that PEX tubing, um, hire a plumber to come out and, and run off of that, give me a spigot or, or a, a tap out, and then run my backflow off of that. So it's not that I couldn't do it, it's just that it would probably be $1,500 to $2,000 more expensive right off the bat because I'd have to tap into that water spigot, hire a plumber, and then of course have a stucco guy come and re stucco and repaint the freaking wall. Okay. I mean, we've had those issues before with a couple clients. Now we can't do it. We can do it, it just costs more. So, so the, uh, so the alternative of course is to saw cut the driveway, but then that's yeah. never going to ever, ever match. Right. If it's stamped and you'll have you know, a patch has, in your driveway, you know, and it's going to probably cost, I don't know, it would it cost the same amount? The it problem, costs, the, it's the, the problem amount, is that it's, you can't, you can't uh, repair it and it look nice. You know, the other way we can repair it and it, it looks nice, you know, um, we've had some issues with paint colors, but then yeah. we've gone back and painted them and, and we've got the color you know, pretty darn close. So this, so this particular client, he uh, had been doing some research. There was a client, I mean a client, I'm sorry, there was a contractor that was offering uh, a bundle price, you know, three valves, uh, this many sprinklers, uh, grass, you know, uh, topsoil. You know, the problem with that is, you know, um, I told the client, you know, and he understood right away. He, I was like, well, how's he gonna come out here? Where's he gonna tap off of? You know, you know I've seen a lot of contractors, they screw literally like a bar fitting onto the spigot and then tap off of that and leave it as is. Do you have a picture of that? I don't have a picture of that, but I've seen it. You know, it's, it's the easy way to do it, but it's wrong, completely wrong. What know? do you mean it's wrong? It's just, um, you have issues, you run into issues. You, you have, a, you have a, 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 a spigot that he's gonna have to leave open in order for you to All have the time. water. You know, you'd rather have solvent, solvent welds you know, PVC or copper, and that way it's not leaking. You know, that's gonna that's gonna leak for sure. You know, it's how quickly? Fast. But is it a code thing? Like like you're yeah, it's, it's a, code a thing you can well. do it. I don't think you can do it. Okay, but it's you being know? done. Right, it's being done. Okay. Um, so he had he had this bundle price of forty five hundred dollars. You know, and I'm like, um, you know, Mr. Client, you know, how are they gonna come out and and offer that price when right off the bat there's nowhere to tap off of. You know, they, you know, they haven't even seen your space. Yeah, they haven't even seen your space. And then, and then at the same time, and I was telling, I was telling my client, I could have the same house. Let's say you're here and your neighbor's over here. It's the same exact house, same exact size yard, same exact uh, square footage. The project's the same grass, irrigation, exactly the same. I, I, I take a reading over here, a certain pressure and gallons per minute, and I take a reading over here. So 
because they're over here, they could have lower pressure or lower, lower gallons per minute coming out of their house. Um, so with those readings, this client could have five valves and this client could have three valves because the pressure is different. So they, when they're offering three valves for everybody, it's wrong, you know. That's but they not, force it. You know, yeah, that, it doesn't work. You know, they're just trying to. No, they're not measuring. They're not. They're not. They're know, just. They're the not water's certified. coming out, so they think that, and that's whatever. That's everybody's problem. Is they're like, well, my irrigation's running. It, the water comes out of it. Yeah, but it's wrong. Right. Because it, you have certain pressure, so it's not working to the capacity that it's supposed to be working to. Right. So it's not. It's it's, uh, you know, it's like, um, it's like putting. Uh, regular gas in a super unleaded vehicle. You know, yeah, it's gas, but it's not running to its potential and it's causing damage over time, right away. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't understand how someone, someone can offer a package of three valves for everybody. And everybody's, and everybody's yard's gonna be different, everybody's pressure's gonna be different, comes from it. There's a lot of factors that go in, and of course me and George talk about this a lot, is I wanna do it, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not, needing the project a lot of these a lot of these client a lot of these contractors they they need to turn key you know and, and for us i'm like i want to do stuff that out that that is right you know and if if uh, if a client wants a deal i'm not the, i'm just not the not the contractor right you know? i'm going to do it the right way no matter what i'm not going to cut any corners you know because of price you know i'm going to give you a price with it's, it's a good price you know based on what i'm doing you know the quality and i'm going to stick to it yeah, so there's there's two ways you can you can look at it. The valve issue is one, they're just going to do those three valves, and you don't, and people don't know. Uh, or two, that's the chance to upsell. You know, hey, you know, you need, you know, the three valves aren't going to work. But then people have a bad feeling at that point. They're like, well, you're saying that you know that most of your yards are three three valves, but you now you're going to charge me two hundred dollars more because I have to put a fourth one, or four hundred dollars more, you know, to the price. It's just like. Yeah. yeah, it's like that doesn't set well, set well, you know, so, you know, for us, the approach is every project's different and we need to go measure and we need to see where the, how we're going to get the water, you know, and if the water's in the freaking middle of the concrete, you know, what do you do? You do the alternative. We never, ever do that. You know, we open up the, we open up the stucco wall, we however painful that is, <laughs> we have a plum, licensed, licensed plumber come plumber out, out and, yeah. and all those things cost money. Um, like for this particular client, you know, he was basing his budget off of, you know, you know, doing research and seeing this bundle, you know, so, you know, he was basing his, his budget on five grand. So I come in and right off the bat, I'm, you know, 8,500, you know, 85 to 9,000 9, right off the bat, you know, just because I know what it's going to take, you know, and so uh, it's not that I couldn't do it, you know, or he couldn't do it. It was just, you know, it's, it's a lot more. You know, then what he would, yeah. on top of that, you know, if there was a problem, you know, in three months, six months or within a year, Pete's going to go back and make it right. Um, nobody, everybody just quits answering the phone, Yeah. you know, because first, you know, they're like, they're doing the minimum to begin with, you know, why would they go back and do anything? It's going to cost, they're going to lose all their money. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyways, yeah, so it, you know, again, it wasn't that I couldn't do it or he couldn't do it. It was just, you know, right off the bat, it's, it's two grand more than, you know, initial, initially he thought, you know, because I have to do these certain steps. It's like uh, our projects, you know, we don't make money on everything. You know, we give away a lot of stuff we're, and we're still expensive. Right? And, I, and I, I, you know, I, 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 I thought I did a pretty good job of explaining it to him, you know. But I mean, I'm sure it, it bums him out that he, you know, he yeah, can't do it. Yeah, at the moment, probably right. is what he was saying. Right. So. So in in that case, you you freaking just don't do it, or you do something less, and then you <clears> add <throat> stuff. Well, I, I gave him a I, I gave him a price of zero scape, you know, desert plants and stuff like that that, that don't need any water. You know, he would have to water maybe for the first couple of months, you know, by hand, once or twice a month, and then just leave him alone. Mm -hmm. So. Cool. Cool. Cool.